What's going on, everybody? You're tuned into another episode of the Music Mastery Podcast with your host, Leezy the Gifted. What we're going to talk about today is celebrating your progress. Now, if you've been listening to my podcast for any kind of amount of time or you you know, know anything about me or what I do, I'm kind of a stickler when it comes to what we celebrate. Like, I'm really hard on myself personally, but I've realized that, honestly, you can learn a lot from winning and you can learn a lot when things are going well. I think a lot of people say, you learn from your losses, which I agree that you can learn from your losses, but you can learn from winning too. And if you're at a position where you don't feel like things are going the way you want them to, bro, I get it. <laughs> like, I get it. I get it. I get it. I understand. I understand what it feels like to be in the studio for countless hours, dedicating so much, not only time, but your emotions into the songs that you're making. You put them out and it's crickets and you don't, you don't feel like you're getting anywhere and it's tough. It's super tough. Um, and I hate to sound corny, but when we focus too much on the external, which is plays, streams, stuff like the external stuff, stuff that's outside of us, that's when we start to get discouraged. But when we focus on the internal, which, you know, it's just your progress, you actually, you actually start to feel pretty good. And so you got to think Every day is an opportunity for you to just get better. Every every day is an opportunity for you to just strive to be the best version of yourself. And look, y'all know me, right? I mean, if you if this is your first time watching or listening, welcome. You know, maybe this is your first time ever seeing me, but I'm telling you, this is usually not how I talk. Usually, I'm way more, you know, be hard on yourself and like strive to like for perfection. But it's like, dude, you got to be accepting. It's a little bit of both. You have to strive for the fact that you can get better. You know what I mean? I've, I, I, I haven't even won as big as I want to win personally. I can win so much bigger. But before, I, I'm getting some good stuff right now. This year has been a good year. I've been doing some good things. I've started generating revenue and profit as a producer. Uh, I've started coaching people. So I'm doing some stuff. Like I'm like, all right, cool. You know, I'm making some little strides. But before I had any of that, like before money came in, Man, before I was linked up with cool people, before any of that, I have to say that like it was hard for me to understand like how to stay encouraged and how to stay super hyped, but it was the progress. I just had to look and be like, damn, man, I'm making progress. From the day I started, let's say I was, you know, I started when I was 17, I'm 26 now, but uh, let's say when I was 23. When I was 23 or 22, 23, it was my last year of college and I was like, man, I need to make this music thing work. <laughs> and I was like, man, but it's not, right? It's not working the way I wanted it to. And, um, but I was like, you know what, man, from the day I was 17, uh, starting this music thing to now, I've gotten better as an artist. Like I've actually gotten better at writing lyrics. I've, my flow is way better. I have more catchy hooks. I'm better at singing, right? I'm better at songwriting. So those kinds of things are what's gonna help you progress in your journey. Now, if you don't feel like you're progressing, that's on you. That's your fault that you're not progressing completely. And and I don't wanna be mean to you. I'm not trying to be like that. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm not trying to be that person who's like giving you, you know, I'm not trying to make you feel bad about yourself. But it's your responsibility if you're not creating progress. There's nobody at the very minimum, at the very least, your progress is your responsibility. Actually, everything in your life is your responsibility, but what I'm trying to say is celebrate your progress, all right? I know it's super simple, it sounds like, but bro, you gotta just celebrate yourself, man. Celebrate yourself, celebrate yourself, man or woman. I, I don't know why I keep saying man, but this is for women too. Anybody, I work with female songwriters too and female producers. Whoever you are, whatever freaking gender you are, celebrate yourself, celebrate your progress. Because look, I've gone through both stages where I've beat myself up and worked really hard because like I'll, I'll go through times where I'm motivated because I beat myself up and I'm motivated because I've celebrated myself. Both, both things are motivating. Like when I beat myself up and I come from a place of distress and disappointment and anxiety and stress, I get work done because I'm like moving away from pain but when I have that, I've been doing really great, you know, and I have that mindset of like, man, I'm actually doing pretty good. I'm doing this, that, and the third, and I'm going toward that pleasure, and I'm using the the winning to fuel me. I I end up getting better work done because I'm happier. You know what I mean? And it's right here. 
It's right there. You just go, just turn that on. Just flip that switch, right? Just turn that dial. Say, I'm going to celebrate myself. I'm going to celebrate my success. The problem, this is where stuff gets dangerous though. So I want to warn you. Yes, you should celebrate your progress. And of course you should celebrate yourself, but don't get cocky. You got to have that balance of, yes, I'm happy with where I'm at, right? I'm happy with what's going on, but I have a long way to go. You got to have that attitude. Otherwise, you're never going to push yourself because the thing that's going to keep pushing you is feeling like I have more to go. Now, even with that attitude of I, because you got to look at this. There's really two states that we think about. There's the state of being present and then there's that future state. Because we're motivated by our futures, let's not lie. We look at the future and we go, man, that looks good. Like you should, I mean, at least I personally am. I don't know about you. I personally look at the future and I'm like, that looks good, right? You know, the future looks like, you know, here, I got this picture right here. This is the beach. Like I really want to live on the beach. That's a nice picture too. That's why I hang it up. This is my future, right? The beach, living near the beach, living somewhere comfortable. That's, that's where we're looking. I'm like, yeah, that looks good. So I'm excited by that. But it's like, all right, I love where I'm at right now. I'm happy with who I am. I'm, 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 I've made a lot of progress. I'm celebrating myself, right? We're celebrating ourselves. Give yourself a little snaps for celebrating yourself. But you have to be like, well, I'm not there at that point. I want to be at yet. I love my future. I, lo- I look at my future and I'm in love with my future. I don't look at my future stressed out. I don't look at my future as anxiety because I'm not there yet. I don't do that anymore. I used to. I look at my future and go, that looks dope, man. I can't wait to get there. You know what I mean? So celebrate yourself. Today is Monday, right? November 2nd, 2020. Use today to celebrate yourself and boost yourself with positivity and get to that next step in your career because I promise you, it's going to help you move a lot better than being super hard on yourself and thinking that you suck and thinking you don't make any progress. Because I've been in both. I've done a lot of both. The positivity one, it wins. I promise. All right. So thank you so much for watching and for tuning in. If you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit the bell notification. It would really mean a lot to me. And if you're listening to the podcast right now, leave a rating, leave a review, subscribe to the podcast and share it with a friend. Listen, I have literally, I'm doing this podcast literally every single day. I don't do videos every day, but I do an audio version every day. And I've gone, I think this is episode 192. I've literally done 192 days in a row and we're going to go to 366 and beyond. I'm showing up every single day. Like all you have to do is literally tell a friend, give an, a, 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 a wholesome recommendation, not just tagging somebody in a post or sharing it on your story is awesome. But Telling somebody directly one-on-one and giving them a wholesome recommendation. Yo, you need to go check out the Music Mastery Podcast. That would literally help me grow because I don't get paid for this and I don't need to. I love doing podcasts, but if I'm not going to get paid, my form of payment is you telling your friend about this podcast. That's my form of payment. All right? Thank you so much for tuning in and thank you for watching and listening and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Peace.